I'm Darrell Ponton. Thanks for joining me. Uh, last couple of days, me and my son, we've been on my sister's tearing apart this old trailer. She got another one out there. Last week, we worked on a red one she had, and we got that all taken care of, brought into the junkyard. Uh, but the last couple of days, we've been out there messing around and tearing some of that apart. Today we're going to work on this old trailer out here. My sister's got a little piece of property, she's got some old trailers on it, and she wants us to get it out of there. So me and my son are going to go out there and see what kind of scrap we can get off of it. Now the last one was that red one. We done pretty good on that. We made about 450 bucks off of all aluminum and steel. This one here has got a lot more stuff on the inside, but I don't think it has as much aluminum. This old camper, it's seen this better day too. Something got inside it chewed up all the cushions and looks like a disaster on the inside. We're going to start on these windows to try to get them out of the way so we don't have glass all over the place. Yeah, we managed to get a little bit of aluminum and steel out of it so far, but we're just starting to dig into it. We got a lot of wood to get out of there. And uh, a lot of garbage animal got in there and chewed something up. There was some kind of critter inside there chewing up things, that was for sure. We didn't get to see what it was because it ran off after we started pounding around. My guess is probably a possum or a raccoon or something. These windows got a ton of screws around the edge holding it in and they're a little bit difficult to get out. But the framing is just two by two, so it's not gonna be a whole lot of scrap. The plywood and wood, we're just gonna burn that. There's an old refrigerator and stove in here that we're going to get out to and bring that to the scrapyard. There is quite a bit of aluminum in these old trailers once you stack it all up. Sure, in its finer day, it was a real nice little camper trailer but due to the weather conditions and just getting run down. It's pretty much at the end of the line. We still got a lot of stuff inside here to get out. Some trash, old cabinets, sink, a lot of garbage on the floor, something chewed up. We did manage to find a couple of dollars with the change and a couple of little valuables. I got to roll a screen out of there. I'm gonna use it for something, but most of us junk. I mean, all the appliances, the old refrigerator and stove, it's just so old and been out in the weather. I'm not gonna try to salvage it. We did manage to find a few bucks with the change inside there, though. This one's uh, not going quite as fast as the other trailer. We didn't hardly have hardly anything inside the other trailer. It was a little bit of a mess, but not compared to this one.
Yeah, we're thinking it's going to take maybe a couple more days, two or three hour days. Finally wrap it up. Might be a little bit longer than that. The frame looks a little more heavy duty than the other one. Well, I think that's about where we're at for today on this one. So uh, we're gonna hit it again tomorrow and see what we can get done. But this is how far we got on it. Got at least the front end knocked down. Maybe a load of scrap out of it so far. I want to thank everyone for following along and watching. Like and subscribe if you would.